In this last module, we'll learn how to round date and time to the nearest unit and also to roll back dates, right? So we'll begin with rounding dates. Uh, we'll explore functions for rounding dates to the nearest value using round underscore date function. And then we'll learn how to round down uh, using floor underscore date and round up the dates and time using ceiling underscore date right you will be familiar with uh, floor and ceiling functions right when you are trying to uh, round up or uh, round down values in general that is when we are dealing with numbers uh, you would have come across uh, floor and ceiling now in case of uh, dates we use these functions from lubri date which are round underscore date floor underscore date and ceiling underscore date. Now the unit for rounding can be any of the following, right? It could be the second, the minute, hour, day, week, month, by month, and it goes all the way till the year, right? So you can round up the date using any of the following units. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, look at a few examples using round underscore date and you will then practice using the other two functions that is floor underscore date and ceiling underscore date you will use them in the practice questions in the examples we will stick to round underscore date right now let's go to our studio and here we'll again use the release underscore date uh, we had created in the eighth module right so this has the release date of our version 3.6.2 and the date is 12 december 2019 now let us see how uh, rounding dates work here right so start with round underscore date the input is the date which we are trying to round sorry and then the unit is We'll begin with minute, right? We'll see what is the output. So here you can see the second was three seconds and then when we rounded it up to the minute, it has gone here, right? You can now see only the minute here, the second has been rounded up. Similarly, if you try it at the hover level, right? You will see that even the minute part, that's a minute component is also rounded up, right? Now you can see only the hover part here, right? Now there are different ways in which you can specify the units themselves, right? Here we have used minute, you can also use minutes, the short form for minutes, mins, right? It works in the same way and We'll close this out by rounding the date to the date level. That is, the unit will be day. That means the time component itself is gone from there. Right? So we don't have the time component now because we have rounded the date at the level of day. The unit for rounding the date is day. Right? So you can play around with all the other units that we have from a second till week month uh, by month season half year and year you can play around with that and we have also added a few practice questions where you will explore the other two functions which is floor underscore date and ceiling underscore date great so let us move to the second part of this module where we learn how to roll back dates right so if you want to change the date to the last day of the previous month or the first day of the current month right so if I go to our studio here then let us write this as roll back clear up the screen here so if we use the release date let us say we want to change the date to the last day of the previous month that would be 30th November 
or first day of the current month which would be first december 2019 right if you want to do either of these then you can use the rollback function right so first we'll try it without any arguments additional arguments right let us use release date as the input now you can see the date has been rolled back to the last day of the previous month so in the date we have the current month is 12 which is december now it has changed to the previous month which is november so it's 11 and since november has 30 days you can see 30 in the date component right so it has been rolled back to the last day of the previous month so here it is 30th november 2019 now if you want to change the date to the first day of the current month that is first december then you have to use an additional argument right so let us copy this then we'll use an additional argument roll to first and set it to true and by default this is false but if you want to change the date to the first day of the current month then you can use this argument which is roll to first and set it to true and now you can see the month has not changed because we want to change the date to the first day of the current month so the month remains same which was 12 here it is 12 here only the date has changed right from 12th december it has become first december so whenever you want to uh, change the dates that is roll back the dates to the last day of the previous month or the first day of the current month then you can use the rollback function right now a few practice questions for you uh, round up the hour release dates to hours and then round down it to minutes now instead of using round underscore date use floor underscore date or ceiling underscore date as applicable and also roll back our release dates to the beginning of the month right if it has happened somewhere in the middle of the month or towards the end of the month now roll it back to the beginning of the month using the rollback function okay so that brings us to the end of this last and tiny module again all the practice questions are there in the learning management system in a pdf file and the solutions are there in an r script you can answer these and then compare your answers to the ones we have provided in the R script right that brings us to the end of this module now we have a quick uh, course summary right where we'll look at everything uh, that we have learned in this course we'll summarize it and we have also added a course survey in the learning management system right so please take a few minutes to fill up that survey so that we can use your feedback to improve our courses further congratulations you have successfully completed this course on handling date and time in r in this course we went through an extraordinary amount of concepts and materials we started simple by looking at how to get current date and time and then we looked at the different classes for storing date time data in r we learned about date arithmetic uh, time zones daylight savings and how to pass date and time when they come in different formats we also learnt about the iso 8601 standard for specifying or representing dates we learnt how to extract different components from a date time object we also learnt how to create update and verify date time objects as well as the concepts of interval duration and period and we ended the course by looking at how to round and roll back date time in r congratulations you have successfully completed this course on handling date and time in r in this course we went through an extraordinary amount of concepts and materials we started simple by looking at how to get current date and time and then we looked at the different classes for storing date time data in r we learned about date arithmetic uh, time zones daylight savings and how to pass date and time when they come in different formats we also learnt about the iso 8601 standard for specifying or representing dates 
we learned how to extract different components from a daytime object we also learned how to create update and verify daytime objects as well as the concepts of interval duration and period and we ended the course by looking at how to round and roll back date time in R. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you find the new skills learnt in this course valuable. We hope this course gives you the confidence to take more data focused projects at work. So thank you once again and all the very best. Good luck and keep learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like, and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, and we will reply to them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos on our playlist, and subscribe to R Squared Academy channel to learn more. Happy learning!